Hello and welcome to Lighting Up the Future at MWC Shanghai 2021. I'm your host, Sam. 5G is bringing powerful connectivity and more functionalities to business solutions, such as augmented reality for remote maintenance. To discuss this further, I'm joined today by Sean Collins, Executive Chairman of CCS Insight, and Wolfgang Stelsley, CCO and founder of Reflect. Hello and welcome to you both. Hi, Sam. Hi, Sam. Okay, let me hand over straight over to Sean. Hey, Sam. Thank you very much indeed. And welcome, Wolfgang, just heard my welcome to that of Sam's. Could you just, for, for those who perhaps don't know Reflect and what it is that the company does, just tell us a little bit about what Reflect does. Well, first of all, thank you very much, Sean and Sam, for having me here. We are a Munich-based startup with about 60 employees. Um, have an office also in Sunnyvale in, in California, but also do business in, uh, in Asia already with, uh, with partners. And basically what we, we do is to start with a problem. Our customers have increasingly complex machinery, um, but the knowledge which it takes to fix, to maintain, to operate those machinery is typically, typically not where it's required, not on site. Um, and that leads to machine downtimes, uh, that leads to, uh, especially talking about COVID, the fact that you cannot access factories, that you cannot maintain and inspect those machines. And of course, that could also lead to, uh, to significant revenue losses. And what we do is we develop two software products um, for augmented reality, with augmented reality, mixed reality which solve those problems, which on the one hand allow remote collaboration. We have a software product which is called remote, uh, Reflect Remote. It's a remote assistance tool where a service technician on the one side of the world um, being in the factory can easily contact an expert on the other side of the world and then they can collaborate with each other and giving each other annotations in their video streams to solve the problem pretty much easier and quicker than ever before. And on the other hand, we have a software product which is called Reflect One. It is about content creation for augmented reality, which help the technician to solve the problems on their own without the need for essentially contacting an, contacting an expert. Fantastic, thank you very much for that. I guess it'd be the obvious place for us to start here is to talk about pandemic that uh, the, the lack of access to certain areas and the remoteness that's required in order to perform day-to-day -day tasks must have fed a huge uptick in demand for and requirement for your type of services. Have you seen that? First of all, in the couple of uh, in, in the first couple of weeks, there were basically a shock. Yeah, no, no company, no enterprise did basically do anything. But on the other side, there have been industries and also customers which really um, experienced a strong uptick. Basically, um, they they receive orders uh, from all around the globe. They cannot really maintain it and operate it, and so they realized um, that there needs to be something um, which helps uh, the people on site to get their work done. Um, and so we we experienced a huge uh, increase in um, in user adoption. Uh, we experienced a huge increase in content generation. Fantastic. And within all this, you've got 5G being deployed, which I guess gives you the bandwidth and the late. So talk, can you talk a little bit about how you've come to be involved with the Open Lab in Munich for Huawei and the Vodafone relationship to prove how AR, VR works so much more appropriately on a 5G network? Yeah. So um, when you talk about uh, AR, uh, MR uh, and the different use cases, obviously remote assistance always needs a stable internet connection unless you communicate asynchronously. But also when you talk about content creation, um, internet um, is, is kind of key. Uh, access to some sort of servers uh, is mandatory. But when you look at the, uh, the augmented reality use cases, you then have everything on device and the device is, is kind of still limited in terms of um, um, visualizing huge data sets. So coming to 5G, what it basically enables is that we can work with huge data sets and construction data typically has gigabytes of just file sizes. Um, and with 5G, we can basically ensure that, that, those, that this data can be transferred to the device instantly. And then when you look, uh, when you look at different use cases in the future, for example, not rendering everything on device, but remote streaming the content, so you'd basically outsource the, the performance heavy 
um, uh, the performance heavy calculations such as tracking and 3D rendering to the cloud and you just stream it to the device and therefore 5G with low latency and very quick uh, and very, very high bandwidth is basically key. Are you thinking about that more out of box experience, out of the box experience for your clients? And could it be that you move into non-mission critical areas? I mean, I can imagine, for example, a Teams meeting being done with uh, some kind of XR, whether it's VR or AR or some sort, as we start to move in this increasingly remote working, not just operational elements of the business. Are you thinking about that? To make it simple, our vision is to make everyone an expert. I truly believe that despite the fact that I am not a technician, I will be able to repair my own coffee machine and my own washing machine in a couple of years from now. And we, as the experts, we need to understand what we do and we need to understand what technology can provide to our customers. But our customers shouldn't really be bothered with technology. They should be solving their problems, whatever the technology is, is, is uh, uh, means. And in fact, I, I'm, I'm very convinced that in 10 years from now, AR and name it as you wish, all the technologies, they are just being, they're gonna be a substantial part of our daily life everywhere. We will make use of the new form of visualizations like we do with the internet today. Clearly, we've looked for new use cases, and I think AR and VR has really come into its own for the, for the reasons that we've talked about here. Do you see that being sustained over time? I definitely uh, see that sustaining. Um, uh, why? Because companies realize that something like COVID can happen at any time again. And now we had discussions in the last year, hey, why, why can't we actually not get rid of part of our offices, make it maybe smaller and really remote collaborate so people start to be, to be, to be creative. And just because of that cultural, cultural shift and because people realize that remote collaboration works and because companies realize that they can really save money with it and do not need to travel all the time to fix the problems on site, I do believe it's, uh, uh, it's, it's not only a hype, not only a trend. That's fantastic. I think it's a perfect place to end Wolfgang. And uh, we look forward to you. We look forward to hearing more about Reflect in the future. Take care of yourself. Stay safe. Thank you. Thank you, Sean. Thank you very much, Wolfgang and Sean, for your really inspiring discussion on the use of 5G in industry augmented reality. Thank you very much. Okay, so that brings us to the close of this episode of Lighting Up the Future at MWC Shanghai. Thanks for joining us and see you soon. Mm -hmm.